very large oak tree fall down and it fell down into the creek. And the owner of the property up here is concerned as to why it went down and if its other trees are at risk of falling over as well. So let's look at the, the roots in through here and you can see considerable white rot and decay throughout the entire root system. But what's really interesting is this large, I mean very, very large Ganoderma conch. I mean, this is one of the biggest ones I've seen. I mean, here's another really big one. And I broke one off on the ground over there and there's yet another one over on that side. So a Ganoderma is the fruiting body of the mycelium that is living off of the wood. And if you see these sorts of mushrooms growing on your trees, especially oak trees, um, it's a good indicator that you've got root rot or root decay. So had he looked at this very closely, this tree might have been recognized as a hazard. But as you can see down there, all the foliage still looks really good. So there's enough active tissue on the outside of this tree to sustain all that foliage but structurally, this stuff is, is like sponge. It, all the, the wood in here is, is completely um, decayed. It's, it's just going away. So look for these indicators. Look for these recognizable um, conks that, that show that there's something going on inside the tree. And, and then you can make wise decisions based upon what you find. There's almost always a sign, a symptom, something that will show you what's going on here. I found this mushroom at the base of a large valley oak and it has me somewhat concerned. This was not here last week. It came up kind of quick. This growth is quite hard. I can push on it solid. And it's got a weeping substance on the top. Appears to be another one coming up from over here. The tree is significant. It's got a trunk with a base that's about almost six feet across. And there's a couple of very large old wounds here. A long time ago, somebody cut something off on this side and it's grown around, but I'm sure the tree is hollow. And what really scares me is over on this side, there's also another one here. There's a big void here. And it almost looks like something happened over here. The tree is quite significant. And it's a very much one-sided tree. It's leaning very much in that direction. There's very little weight counterbalancing it over here, and the most dramatic weakness seems to be over on this side. Now with this mushroom growth over here, it has me a bit worried. So, should I recommend some weight reduction over there to minimize the strain on this tree? I don't know. If this tree goes down, it's going to take down this second tree as well. There's a fair amount of foliage up there. Is it as full as it should be? Um, I don't think so. I think it could be a bit fuller. But it's not bad. And it's been like this for a long, long time. So I guess I need to try to identify this growth, this mushroom, and see what it is exactly and just how revealing of internal decay that mushroom indicates. And then we've got this one. Oh, look at how wet that is. It's sticky. This thing erupted about two months ago and it has continued to grow significantly. It's, I mean, here's my hand, so it's, oh, it's probably 14 inches across. And uh, 
I don't know what it is. If you look underneath, it is smooth. There are no gills inside there. I'm hoping somebody out there, um, I, I belong to the Facebook Mushroom Hunters of the World uh, site, and I'm going to send this off there. And I hope somebody out there can identify this and give me a better indicator of how severe it is, because this valley of Quercus lobata is, uh, I think it's in trouble.